Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let us convert a Creo drawing into AutoCAD format with 1 is to 1 scale. So, you can have either DWG or DXF format as your AutoCAD format. So, let us get started. Now, when you convert a Creo drawing into AutoCAD format, you need to take care of mainly two things. The first thing is the seat scale, which is currently 0.75 here. So, it should be always 1 is to 1. So, make it 1. Now, when you make it 1, if this drawing views are going beyond this boundary, then you can increase the format size and for that you can go to the size, double click it and change the format size. So, I can go with bigger one. So, now I will have more space to place these views. So, in my case, size B is good enough to place these views. So, I will change to size B. So, the first thing is your seat scale, make it 1 is to 1. Then the second thing is the drawing unit and for that go to file, prepare, drawing properties, change. Now, here you type drawing underscore unit, say enter. Now, by default, it will be in inches. Change it to your relevant unit. So, my drawing is done in mm. So, I will select mm. Say add change, apply, close. Close it. Now, scroll it. So, once you change your drawing unit, your drawing looks like this. Do not worry about these dimension sizes. So, now your drawing is ready to convert into AutoCAD format. So, just go to file, save as export. Now, here you can go with DXF or DWG. So, let us go with DWG, go to export and say OK. Close export setup. Now, once again, I will export the same drawing. So, I will go to file, save as, export. I will go with DWG, but this time I will change some settings. Now, here first thing is you need to change the AutoCAD version. So, these are the versions. I will go with 2013. These things you leave as it is. So, finally, I will go with properties. Now, here you have four sub tabs. So, first one is color, then layer, line font, text font. So, in color, I will change this geometry from white to red and this hidden line from color red to green. Now, the next changes I will do with text fonts. So, here I will replace this win font to Romans because I have used win font in my drawing. You replace your font which you have used in your drawing with Romans. Say OK and once again go to export. Now, this time I will change the file name. So, I will make it 3 and I will say OK. Close export setup. So, I have exported the same drawing two times first time without any changes and the second time with some minor changes. So, let us see these two drawings in AutoCAD. So, I will open these drawings. This is Extrude 2. So, the first one is Extrude 2 and the second one is Extrude 3. So, now if you see these two drawings, you can see the clear difference. So, here your hidden lines are green and your drawing is in red. But if you see this drawing, here your hidden lines are grayed and drawing is in white. Now, one more difference you have, which is this textile. So, if you see here, this is TXT form. But if you see here, this is Romans. So, you can see the clear difference within this font. So, why I am comparing these two drawing is just to give you the clear idea about uh, these changes. So, here if you zoom this dimension, you can see that this text is txt form. But if you see this drawing, this is Romans font. So, these changes you can directly do in Creo before exporting it. Now, let us check the scale. So, if you see this dimension, this is 156. So, if I create a linear dimension directly from here 
till here it must be 156 so it is 156 if you check this diameter this is also 142 that means your converted drawing is 1 is to 1 so once you have done this one last change you need to do and that is increase the dimension height because it is too small and for that you need to select this entire dimension one by one like this or you can go with filter f i enter Click here and select dimension, add to list, apply all, enter. Now you go to annotate, change the dimension style. So I will go with the first one, now skip it and then press D, enter. Now here you select the first one, modify this scale you take it a suitable value so i'll take it 20 this can be changed later on let's change one more time select this one go to modify make it 25 i'll just delete this and this so now your drawing is ready 1 is to 1 same thing you can do with this drawing and you will get the same result so this was from creo to autocad conversion with 1 is to 1 scale and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and i'll see you in my next video thank you